broadcasting live worldwide. Have faith, live again. When it starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Hey, Ariel, can you say have faith? Let it begin. Let it begin? Let it begin. Say have faith. Let it begin. No, no. No? No? Okay. Hi, Noah. Noah! Hi, Noah. Noah. Oh, Jesus. Happy birthday, Noah. Okay, oh, Noah. Good morning. You listening to Half Faith Love Again. And it starts right now. How is that, Daddy? It was good. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. It's Thursday, February 8th, 2024. I hope that each and every one of you had a great sleep. I know that I didn't, but that's okay. I am ready to go, and I am excited to be here with you. Uh, We are just what? We're not too far off from Friday. It's almost Friday. You can feel it, right? You can almost feel Friday coming. Um, tomorrow's episode will be a fun one. It's about, you know, we'll talk about the Super Bowl parties and Super Bowl situations, all that kind of stuff. So we're hoping that each and every one of you will join us uh, and, uh, and, and, and close out the week with an awesome, crazy, fun stories. Well, today, you know, we're going to continue on. Uh, thoughts and prayers for me. Uh, it's my uh, uh, follow-up appointment with the, uh, the, the surgeon regarding my surgery to see whether or not the, uh, the dissolvable strips uh, slash stitches have, well, dissolved. And if they did, then they'll take, take us off of, uh, you know, um, limited uh, active duty and f- go to full active duty. So we're just hoping and praying that that happens today. Um, today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, social media. Um, I've noticed recently uh, the power of social media, uh, how it can be a good influence rather than a bad influence. So uh, I want to kind of like do this in a different way. Um, recently, I was able to watch um, a, a, an article and about, uh, and I think I've spoken this before uh, about a restaurant that they uh, run on donations only. Uh, and uh, I'm going to put the link in the description because I haven't got permission to speak about them. So I will put the link in the description. You can take a look at their website. But this particular rest, uh, I'll call it a restaurant because what they do is they feed everyone for free. And they run on donations only. And the staff pretty much is volunteers. I found that to be inspiring. So I wrote to them when I saw the um, the the actual report on uh, NBC's uh, Today Show. And they recently got back to me. So we're going to be doing some kind of a collab with them um, in the near future. And once everyone uh, gets to see the link in the description and go and check them out, if you have any questions for them or any ideas that how we can collab with them, let me know because I'm curious uh, where we can take this to a different level. But what, what I'm getting at is social media can play a very positive role uh, in, in a person's life or a person's business. Um, there are good adventures when it comes to social media um, as opposed to the negative outpour that we see on a daily basis. Um, a lot of times we see the negative where uh, we are seeing people constantly trying to manipulate or ridicule or put somebody down and or do something that just isn't right. But believe it or not, there's so much more good that is out there in social media than there is the negative. It's just a question of where to find it and where to block the negative uh, stuff as opposed to the positive. You know, I think a lot of times too, you know, we're drawn to things that happen that we just can't explain. We sit there and go, how can this happen? Uh, and I've, I have many times get caught up in that, in that situation where I'll see somebody uh, mistreating uh, someone and I and I can't believe why I don't understand why and then all of a sudden um, I find myself getting uh, put in a situation where the the algorithm constantly is showing me uh, the same uh, type of uh, things that I've watched and next thing you know I'm down that rabbit hole of negativity um, so I'm not here to tell you how to listen or watch your social media by any means but I will tell you is that ever since I've pretty much stopped watching that negative type of feed. Um, I found that I have 
put myself in a position to see nothing but good stories, good influences in our life. So where's the message in all this, right? Good feedback is great feedback, whether it is negative or good. But when we are, you know, searching the internet for things to read up on, when we are drawn to the social media outlets, try your very best to locate the good stuff, like the good stuff. And if you see something negative, just try to move away from it. It draws you in. And it sometimes doesn't make you feel good about yourself or others. And it puts also a strain um, on yourself. And believe it or not, that's where we get so much uh, animosity, uh, anxiety. I know I did. So when you're thinking about social media, I want you to try to think about the good and not the bad. Again, uh, it's so hard to do that. (laughs) And it's so easy to get caught up in all the gossip and the drama that takes place. That's just my only message for today. I thought about it and I said, how am I going to make this into an episode? And I said, well, I'm just going to wing it like I always do. But I didn't really have uh, a thing in my head. I just said, you know, uh, I'm just going to go with it. So with that being said, let's go into our formal prayer. Let's do that now. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today's episode. We know that each and every day is not promised. What we do know is that we have control of the things that we watch. We have controls of the things that we say. Sometimes we'll make mistakes and we'll say things we don't mean, but it's owning our mistakes and owning our um, our misfortune uh, and mis, uh, misdiagnosed, we'll call it, of how we view things. One of the things that we must try our best to do is find the good in, our, in, in others, find the good in ourselves, and find the good in social media. We hope that each and every one of you will inspire to do that. We lift up in prayer our Half Eight Let It Begin community, our family, prayers for Liz, prayers for John and Brian and their family as we're waiting for Liz's results to come back so that she can get home safely from the hospital. We pray for you, Liz. We love you and we're watching out for you. We lift up in prayer uh, Sigfredo and his family, for Mansa and Yesenia. We pray for Nick and his family. We pray for mine and my daughter and son. Ariel's been having a lot of nightmares lately. We pray for her to sleep better each and every night. We lift up in prayer our brothers and sisters, our nieces and nephews, our aunts and uncles, our cousins, grandparents, and our parents. We also lift up in prayer those that are traveling to our, their destinations today. Some of them are, are traveling uh, on plane or by vehicle we or bus or any type of commuting. We uh, hope that you get there safely. And finally, we lift up in prayer uh, Carol, Douglas, Melanie, uh, and of course, Melody. We also pray for forgiveness and understanding. We pray for Joe and Jim, and we continue to lift up in prayer Tony. We thank you, Lord, for forgiveness of friendships and forgiveness of those that have done us wrong. We pray for new beginnings for Greg, for Paris. We lift up in prayer uh, Chip and Addison, and we continue to lift up all of you, like Dylan and Maria, and we pray for Clinton, and we pray for their families. May God be with you. May he shine his light upon you and grant each and every single one of you peace on earth. And never forget, have faith, let it begin. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. We'll be back tomorrow. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730 Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. 
and we impress. <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. Thank you for listening to How Faith Flow Begins. We'll be back tomorrow.